The schedule is seemingly going to stay true. All right, insane reveal, but Lumiere is confirmed coming. All right, he is inside the files added from the global update. I don't know why he put it in KRJP leaks because he got this from global. Um, but we see that Lumiere or Lemian, right? Because uh, basically, like the Japanese pronunciation into um, English, right? Lumiere, uh, light in um, French, right? I'm I, I, I don't, is what is it? I, it licked. So like licked is light in German, and then Lumiere is light in French. Uh, just to point that out, um, which I think is a pretty cool parallel. But Lumiere is coming. Okay, so we got Wizard King Dignity, and I don't know why. This is probably under Secre, right? But then we also have Secre, who is shown two SSRs. We don't know what exactly Lumiere is gonna be, but we do know that Secre has some type of the spell barrier immune, which might be like. It blocks Yuno's, which is a bit weird, right? It's gonna block Yuno's skill to a way of like uh, dispelling barriers. I, I don't get it. I think it, to me this reads either that it stops uh, barrier block, but because it says dispel barrier, I think it's like you're immune to your barrier being removed. So to me, this basically means you cannot have your barriers removed. Which for Secre, if she's a barrier unit, bro, it's gonna be insane. She's basically gonna be Charlotte 2.0. Uh, ceremony, uh, ceremony, ceremony started. Yeah. So, um, let's just check the the banner. Like, first of all, also, um, what I can say, by the way, check out the showcase. Uh, what I wanted to say first is, okay, I think it was higher. Yeah. So it does seem that anniversary should be Lumiere. Okay. If Lumiere's here, he is not going to be anything but a fest, right? If they're making Julius a fest, if they're making Dorothy a fest, um, then yeah. Now, um, I would like to say this schedule seems accurate. And also that Fuego is probably not a festival anymore. I think this will be the schedule. Bro, this is a fire schedule. Dorothy, Summer Charlotte Yami, um, not so much. Then Fuego into Secre into Lumiere. Sala Fuego into Secre into Lumiere. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Now, I don't know if we're going to also get um, Black Ostis skill page on Global. But on JP, you know, it's been a while. So I feel like JP schedule, maybe we'll get it. I just don't think we're going to get it on Global just yet. I think Global is going to have Black Ostis skill page either during or after Anniversary. Now, Anniversary, I was thinking of it. Maybe we're going to also get like a double fest. Like, if we get um, Awakened Licked with this, that wouldn't be that bad. I don't know, like, obviously for free-to-plays, but I would be pretty hyped for that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if they do that, but, you know, to me, I'm going to say it's going to be one unit for now. Because um, JP got one unit for Anniversary. Technically, they got more afterwards. Because they got um, Noel, and then they got Grey a week after, and then technically Funeral was supposed to come with it. So maybe we'll get multiple units. Keep that in mind. It's maybe Secre is gonna come out as the pickup like a week after Lumiere. Maybe, maybe they just have Black Asta here. But um, Secre is coming. Lumiere is coming. That is confirmed. Okay. Uh, I wish we knew what Lumiere is, but in my opinion, he's gonna be the first light attacker. Okay. I, I it would make sense. Now, uh, light units so far have only been like. Um, so from what I'm realizing, like, darks are attack- Whoa. Dark units are attack and debuff, and then light so far has been defense and support. So, def defenders and supporters. So, maybe they're not gonna make an attacker light, but Lumiere's name is light. They can't make him not light, right? He's gonna be light, and he ha he's gonna be an attacker. There's no way he's not an attacker. If he's not an attacker, I'm gonna be very confused. Um... Obviously, just because, like, the name of Chaos and Harmony, attackers don't really go into Harmony. Um, but still, I would like to say Light would make the most amount of sense. Also, it means he's going to be ridiculous because he's typing advantage against, like, everyone that matters, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, light, light attacker is going to be broken. Just when you think about it, you got type advantage over pretty much all the game as a DPS. You're going to be cooking. You're going to be cooking. So... I would like to say that, yeah, that's crazy. Now, we have JP leaks very soon. Um, JP's also getting a new game mode, so that's pretty cool. Honestly, like, I'm pretty happy with Black Clover right now. Um, I'm enjoying it, right? I am enjoying it um, a good bit, right? Also, we got a new story chapter coming out, which is going to so, uh, show Secre for the first time ever in-game. Uh, but Dorothy, definitely pretty good unit. I definitely say it was good. Now, let's go back to more leaks, okay? Because we do have more. So, global leaks, there was some stuff. So, uh, obviously, we have Dorothy stuff. So, you can get... I think these are, like, some HD renders that he put that we got from Garena inside. So, we could, like, get that. Uh, then we have Dorothy's Fest banner, which I still can't believe. Like, let me know what you think. But I, I just don't even, like, see Dorothy as a Fest. 
Like, maybe when I said it, sure, but at this point in the game, with all the Fest units we're getting, it would have made more sense then. But then they're like, oh yeah, let's rush Valkyrie Noel up. So it's just like, you know, it doesn't really make sense with the timeline. Uh, but Dorothy should have been earlier, yeah. Now, uh, one thing is that there's going to be custom pickup with Fest units. So the Fest units should be returning this season. First of all, Fest units are returning this season. So I guess Noel is going to return. If not, at least Spirit Dive. But Noel should return. She was two Fests ago. Right, two Fests ago. So there's no way she's not going to return. She was in, uh, what was it, August? July. July, right? I think it was July. I'd like to say so. I think it was July. Was it? It was end of June. Oh, right. You know, it was... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since Noel. It's been a while. It's been a while. So they definitely can put Noel in this. So keep that in mind. But it seems like it's going to be multiple raid-ups, which means you're not confirmed the unit you're trying to get, which I hate. But for newer players, double fest, like you could get really lucky with that. That could be good. So it's worse for older players, but good for newer, I guess. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. It's such a weird banner system. Like just bring them all back. 1% rate up for the new or the, the fest you want. Then that's it. Now, Black Divider should not come back. It's probably going to end on the wall. I just want to make that very clear. There's no way. Um, now, next units, Charlotte and Yami. So they are going to be together, first of all, in the banner, I mean. Um, skip, skip. If you have all the fests you need, you have, after Dorothy, there's three weeks of nothing. Three weeks, guys, three weeks. Keep that in mind. You're going to be able to get, like, your pulls up a good bit, especially now, if you haven't been doing your uh, playtime, dailies were increased. You get 130 crystals per day now in dailies. 130. So that extra week is going to be giving you a good bit. It's going to be giving you a good bit. So I'd like to say that uh, just skip, right? Just, just skip. And uh, yeah, this basically does uh, confirm the schedule. So they are going to be seemingly October 8th because it's a five-week season. Um, so it's either October 8th or a week later, right? Because it's five weeks. Hold on. Hold on. So if it's five weeks, 24th, that means there might be a gap week either before... It's either... There might, this might be the gap week. So they're going to be the 15th. They're going to be the 15th. Um, keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. October 15th and then, yeah, the 31st. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, gap week with uh, the Fest banner. With the Fest rerun. So let's uh, let's let's fit this in. Uh, oh, I meant to go here. All right, there we go. So October... Hey, there there we go um so yeah that's that's basically the new schedule um i would like to say that secretary should still be around the time that we said um i i really i don't know if she's before or during anniversary because every unit now my guess is going to be out by annie um it's just if they don't release secretary here there's no one in this slot there is no one in this slot if secretary doesn't release here for global that we know of so jp in uh tomorrow night Tomorrow night for me. So Wednesday, Wednesday night, we're going to get more leaks. So I'm going to wake up to leaks. That's great. And uh, we're going to see. We're going to see who exactly is coming and all that. But it really is just Secre and uh, that's it. The Secre and Lumiere are in the game. And then Fuego too. So like these are the three units. That's it. And then obviously Black Ops' skill page might come. So we'll see. But let me know. What do you think is the schedule? Put down below the full like uh, kind of order of things where what's coming out end of October, beginning no uh, mid-November, and then end November? Or is there any other discrepancies that you think is going to happen? Now, this is pretty much confirmed because we have their banner info, but yeah, it, it was obvious, but they, they do suck. So there's really no point in caring about them. So that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.